might be the only video of it, or it might not. So yeah, let's, it's basically um, a game that's like breaking the whole wall. And I like how the computer works, like the computer is right there and then like it shows the room and then it goes over and over again. It's nice, you know. I like the touches of this, like it's really cool. Like, it's going over and over again. Like you can see it on that screen right there, which is cool. Stanley Powerball is your Stanley in the game, basically. So let's get into it. So, yeah. I know um, lots about this game because of videos, which is cool. You know, there's lots of stuff that you can do. Oh, All of his this. co-workers were gone. Okay. What could nice. it mean? Stanley decided to yeah, go to the nice. meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed okay. a memo. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. When Stanley came to a set of two open... This was uh, not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah. Yep. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door so, on his left. I'm sure this, yep. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, from here, it's, um, left. By the way, it's not left. Oh, no, no, it's to the right, my mistake. Okay. No, 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 no not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Okay. Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. It's not. No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. Ha. This is all a spoiler. Quick, In Stanley, close your eyes. Face. Okay, 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 okay. We just I can't close my eyes. To, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just I've restart the game. I've already seen this, you beginning. stupid person. Time, suppose we don't want to. I've already seen track. this hmm? narrator. Okay. From the top. I've already seen this new waiter. You stupid new waiter. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Good Stanley game. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley... Wait, wait, what? No, I, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. I did it's nothing. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Um, yeah. This is a terrible thing to, to be doing. I am lost. 
I'm back. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. It's going nowhere. I'll say it. This is the yeah. worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. It's gonna get even just, worse. Do we need to restart the game again? Yeah. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress no, by starting don't over do and it. over again. No, don't do it. No, it's gotta be no, better than this. No, please don't, please don't. Okay, let's give it a shot. It'll be even worse. It's gonna be even worse. It's even worse. All of this could work. That room now has what nothing in. Stanley that decided to go to the meeting room. Nothing Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Literally, it has nothing in anymore. Look, look. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? There's going to be nothing here. I turned it off. Right. So there's actually notes everywhere, if you did not know. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, 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 no. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and okay. retrace our steps. It's gonna get even worse. It's gonna get all messed up. It's gonna get messed up. Look, look. Look at it. Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you yeah. remember, Stanley? Yeah, well, do you know what? it is correct. Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You, you win. win! Congratulations! Yay! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both no. know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was, was not one of those situations. There's a gun! I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen okay, this time. What? I have to restart. I saw a gun. I think my door is actually, okay, I'm not telling Ashley. I don't want to tell. This is like a wobble watching this. You see, the know. line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. It's not Onward in this Stanley direction. To destiny. It's the, not in this here's a thought. direction. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, yeah. is the story of no destination Whoop. still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey yeah. such that a destination Whoop. is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation Whoop. of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood.
the music. Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Don't Make work. sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. No. Nothing happened. Wait, what? we're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of... Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after mm. everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. I to hell you, with line. it. Restart. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly Open doable. Open Why don't we simply start Sesame! In, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley like forging it. a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Where are we going? The lion is going to be back in Oh, no, not you again. Whoop. Stanley, Whoop. I'd also like to veto the lion from having any role in our awesome new story. No lions or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And yep. since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Yep. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Obviously, obviously, it's the door on the right. Okay? Because it says right. Oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion, the confusion ending. ending. You're telling me... That's what this is. But it's all one giant ending. Own. And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? Yep. That's really how You've all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to um, the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? Um, My mind goes blank simply that. because it's written it's here on this, this thing, wall. Well... Who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Yes, you will. And the timer to... Stopped? Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? No. So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or uh. the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... Begin following the line. That scared me. I hate it when it does that. 
and now there's going to be a bunch of All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed what? a memo. Last time I did that, there was a bunch no of No matter how hard people. Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. What a... But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope, he did not. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm no. not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, uh, but the fact yes, is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that mm -hmm. convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Okay. Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Aha! Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Nope. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me yep. stop you. You see? There's nothing here. here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Wait, what? Um, where are they there? I don't want to go through there. Now, 
would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, yep. honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. I wouldn't mind. And I don't like this game. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. I can just hear this too much. Do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since hey. my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game just to ease the pain? Let's see. What do we have here? Minecraft? Mm -hmm. It's Minecraft. Mm, yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a Minecraft. shot. Minecraft. Minecraft. It's gonna be Minecraft. I can tell. It's gonna be Minecraft. Yep, yeah, it's Minecraft. Well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing yep. you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, yep. I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. That's really creepy. This will go here. No, here. And then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. I made this standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to get mining. Oh, my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? I'm going straight down. Oh, no, no, and no, no, And if you no, go no. This is far deep more down enough, than then you hear it. I'm looking for something more spider. narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Listen. Even the spider. couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. See? Did you hear that? Those actually a spider. When you go deep down, right there, you hear a spider. It's just creepy. And now... <laughs> portal 2. Yes, no, Portal. I don't the first know what this game, game is, but I love it. 
You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. I know what this is. It's Porsche. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. You're forte. Let me drop ourselves in here. I know how to do this. go. Right way up. I only wish you could spawn in this game. Yes. Does this gonna work? How do I do this?
you manage that? Are you really trapped in here? I'm actually quite impressed. I don't think there's a simpler puzzle out there, and you've still broken it. Well, since I don't intend to open that door, I guess you and this John Button just need to get cozy together. A dream for you, I'm sure. Enjoy. <laughs> I drag. Literally, you can draft yourself. <laughs> so, we guys, um, that's how you trap yourself there. Which I like how you can do that. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. That's different. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah. He did, and then he... Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might have come to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping in... So this um, was never open before, by the way, if you did not know. I just said you are now leaving. And this takes a while. I don't know why it takes so long. And at the end of this nice long video, I'm going to show you how you get to the end of the game with the credits, okay? Because there are actually credits, you know. There are actually credits. Launch Bay. And now this is actually one of the endings. The Escape Pod Launch Bay. It's the Escape Pod ending, basically. We escaped! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Um, Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't like this. How okay, long was I sitting so there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? 
He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. Um, what the... That changed. So it's nearly gonna be the end of my little... Uh, Stanley came to a set of video. two open doors. He had, this was not the direct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge so was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope, he did not. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, okay. but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Okay. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stan. Okay. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. Oh, no, 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 you can't... Did you just unplug the phone? Yeah. Now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No. It's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video choice it's the best part of being a real okay. person but if used incorrectly can also be the most dangerous for example in this scenario a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice he could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Okay. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Nope. Not doing it. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. So... Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make are a significant you contribution to the blah, world, blah, 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 bl
You blah, 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 now that you're properly informed I want to talk to making, someone. We're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. So, Jacksepticeye, I if you are actually watching this then um then um I would like you to do these bits, okay? If you are actually watching this Jacksepticeye, I I would like you to actually um do these um, things that you have not done and look now we can't jump off and die or oh, not even um, go down there we can't have you jumping off the platform and die see we can't even go over here jacksepticeye if you're watching this jacksepticeye you cannot actually jump off this anymore which is upsetting i don't know why Unfortunately, it seems this place is not yeah. well equipped to deal with reality. Go, 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 Power Rangers. Yep, I just said go, go Power Rangers. So I live in Cardiff, so if um, you live in America, it's going to be a very long way to go to get to me if you live in America. Okay? Almost there. Which? You'll take the door on the left. Back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free which, in the real world. Which you might want to see me, I don't know. I've already made some videos of it out. Now remember, all um, you need to yeah. do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be nope. up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Okay, all yeah, right. okay. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yep, he did. He did. Wait, it's Yet nearly there was not a single place. person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, mm, Stanley la, decided la, to go up to his la, boss's la, office, la, hoping he might find la, an answer there. La, 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 Stanley walked no. upstairs to his no, boss's office. La, la. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. Oh, and beyond so all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. So, Jacksepticeye, guy, um, if you are actually watching this, thanks for telling me about this because I like it. I like it, but I don't like this room because <coughs> it's dark. Stanley spoke and the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. And that's because um, the light doesn't work. I don't know why. It's just too old. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. OK, fine. You're not going to do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you c- And then... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Nope, oh, white. 
No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Okay. And I've messed it oh, up. It's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, uh, I couldn't live no, that you way. don't. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I no. have to. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're nearly at the end of the game, guys. That sounds a bit, um, Tardis. I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought would happen even occurred to you had it. <laughs> that there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Oh. oh. My story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hi, Stanley. Stanley? This is the end Hello? of the game. Are you... Is everything okay? This is it. Stanley, please. This is the end. I, I need you to make a choice. The end. I, I beat the, the game. Are you listening to me? This is Stanley Powerball. Thank you for playing. Is everything all right? Quite This is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand? <laughs> I know you you your the real name. We can work together. No way to. You do. I simply need you to take that. Uh, I've got. Forward, please. Poop. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this, Stanley? Are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is I'm stalking him. <laughs> I'm stalking him. <laughs> stalky, stalky, stalk. Stalky, stalky, stalk. Stalky, stalky, stalk. Stalky, stalky, stalk. It's about to fart on his head. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, yeah. So yeah, guys. Bye.